Okay, so this is definitely one of my favorite places in Montenegro. Uh, very few people come here. It's the side of Montenegro that uh, the tourists don't get to see. It's pristine. Not many people live up here. Um, there's bears, there's wolves, there's lynx, wild boar, deer species. And we're very fortunate it looks like this because um, it's through neglect really. You know, the big tour operators that promote Montenegro, they're promoting the beach. Now, come and sit on a beach which looks like pretty much every other beach in the Mediterranean with your back to this and ignore all of this. The government um, are improving, but you know, the management could be better of these kind of wild places. There's a lot of nepotism within government and a lot of the people appointed to run these wild areas are political appointees, so not necessarily with the experience of managing wildlife destinations and not many people come. And this is why, uh, you know, we need to do create tourism here that benefits the local people, but also benefits the wildlife. And um, we need actually money for conservation effort here. So perhaps tourism, if people were willing to come and get involved in really meaningful conservation work, um, and then the percentage of the money they spend on their tour could actually fund the preservation of these areas. I think that could be a model that could really work here. And I'm pleased to say that we're now, for, for the first time, we're getting some interest from government and the people who run these places. So I'm confident that this is something that could be a major attraction in the future to encourage people to come here and enjoy this beautiful place.